recruiting staff. Recruiting's hard. You're out on the road a lot. It, it's hard. You've got other universities offering 50, 60 guys full scholarships and then yanking them back. And we get players out there saying, yes, we're going to commit to you. And then, then they commit to somebody else. And uh, we, don't, we don't do that. We don't go out and offer guys and then pull them back. We offer guys. If we offer guys a scholarship, we're going to stand by it. And uh, we try to be honest with them. And, and we ask them to be honest with us. And uh, the guys we get are that way. And when we have a, a bunch of athletes here in the room, and, and I'm glad you're here. We tell, tell all these guys, Michael Allen and, and, and Taylor Woods and Peyton and all those guys, we want you to help us recruit guys who are going to try to beat you out. And, and we've recruited guys. Uh, each class we've gotten is better than the, the one we got the year before. You know, this we knew was going to be a fairly small class. We could only sign 12, 13 guys. Uh, so we tried to up the ante as far as the ability, and I, and I think we, we got really good players. It's gotten progressively harder to beat guys out because we have good athletes. Devin Jensen was in last year's class, Taylor and Peyton three years ago, and, and, and you guys, Justin and Justin and uh, Michael Allen, and a couple years ago. Um, I want to say a little bit about the coaches because the coaches do a great job. We we stay on it and we stay on it and we stay on it. And we know the players and we stay close by and we get calls late. From hey, so and so got dropped by SMU. And we get on them and we and we, we get them signed. And, and things like that are important because we've been out there and and, and they, they they know us a lot better than they used to. And, and we find out about players late that, that really helps. Um, locally, uh, I always want to talk about the local guys first. Deshaun Brown Key the, from Brennan High School was a quarterback. Played in the state championship game. He played the state championship game in basketball. He's an accomplished basketball player. Uh, he, as a sophomore, he competed in the, in the triple jump in the state track meet. He's probably the best athlete in, in the city. Uh, he's got to play someplace. We did a home visit with him, and I said, "What do you want to play?" He said, "I'll play wherever you want me to play." And what I think is, he's he can either be an all-conference safety. He can be an all-conference wide receiver, and I'm not sure he couldn't be an all-conference quarterback. He's a very talented guy. I think we're, I think we're going to start him at safety, but, but we may not. Um, Jeremy Jones, an offensive lineman from Roosevelt, uh, is 6'5". He's about 275. He's 17 years old. He comes from a military family. He's moved around. He's, he's, uh, he's a extremely talented offensive lineman. He's the most talented physically of any lineman we've ever signed here. Uh, he's got a chance to, to, to be a really outstanding player. He will. He would like to be able to redshirt next year uh, and go into his, his himself. Um, when he's a senior, he'll be 6'6", 300 and something pounds and, and ought to be a, 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 an NFL prospect. He just needs to have toughness and stick around long enough, but he's, we're really excited about him. Noah McBee's from Lavernia, right down the road, 30 miles down the road. Is a, We had him in camp uh, last summer. We really liked him. He's 6'4". He's about 215, 220. He's going to be a great big guy. Uh, he's got some burst to him. He had about 14 sacks last year. He's, he's an outside linebacker. Uh, he also has a 3.7 GPA, which we like. Dylan Manns from Bernie Champion is a receiver. Uh, we had him in camp also. He's a really interesting prospect. Coach, other coach Cannon wrote up a lot of nice things about him here. Well, you know, if he would have been a, a freshman on the team we had here three years ago, he'd have been almost an instant starter. He, he won't be an instant starter now because we have better players, but he's going to be a guy who, over the course of time, gets gets bigger and stronger and faster. He, outstanding person. He can catch the football. Uh, he competes. Uh, I expect him to be a guy who plays a lot of football for us in his four or five years here at UIW. And he'll graduate. He's also an outstanding student. His dad's back there in the, in the back and wave at everybody. <laughs> We're proud to have him too. If his son gets as tall as him, we might make him a tight end. <laughs> okay, the 
quarterback McLean Carter from Gilmer. Uh, he's a left-hander. Sean Davis, who's also a left-hander, really likes him for that. But we, we kind of got on him late. We had a quarterback committed who decided he wasn't going to be committed. And we jumped on McLean. They were 16-0 and this year at Gilmer. They won the state 4A championship. Uh, he, in one game, he threw for 713 yards and eight touchdowns. Now, I, there's a lot of quarterbacks who couldn't do that against the air. And I couldn't. And, 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 but there's a lot more to him than just that. This guy's got some real moxie. He's a leader. So the more I was around him, the more I liked him. When he came in to visit, his half-brother, who's G.J. Kenny, who played for the Philadelphia Eagles, came with him. He came with him because he, he knew my background in working with NFL guys, and he wanted to see what we were really about. He was thrilled, and we were thrilled when McLean decided to, to come here. And, and he got on the phone and called every recruit who was recruiting to, to try to convince them to come, and, and, and he helped. But he's going to be a, a really good football player for us. Um, he's got a lot of competition, but, but uh, he'll do extremely well for us. We're excited about him. Damon Weaver. Soto uh, is a safety, and he's he's a, a safety that, that can cover. He can run and hit you. He played at a, a legendary program at DeSoto. Uh, we uh, when we started talking to him, really got serious with him. He was committed to Abilene Christian. We don't like them very well, and so when we could get him to commit to us. We were excited about it. Uh, he's a Nick uh, DeBose had him rated as our top safety on our board, and, and we really like him. Uh, Cameron Wilson from Paraland, Paraland Dawson is a, an offensive lineman who's really a good football player. He's, he's an outstanding offensive player. This is as good an offensive lineman, again, as we've signed. We've signed some, some pretty good ones here in the last couple of years. Uh, he could, he's probably going to be a guard, but he could be a tackle if we need be. We expect him to come in and be in, the, be in our rotation next year and, and play right away for us. You know, he's got to go do that, but, but we expect that. Uh, John Williams from Oak Ridge in Houston. Uh, he's 6'1 or 6'2, 300 pound. Coach Ivacek recruited him and told him if he's not at 295, when he reports, we're going to beat him up. Uh, <laughs> He's got great strength. He's got great burst. Uh, he's he's going to be a 300-pound nose guard, three technique for us over the course of time. We told John Williams, our athletic director, that this guy's name is Big Cat, so we'll differentiate. We got Big Cat, and he's got the real John Williams over here. But we don't. We didn't want him to come to practice and hear Coach Ivacek yelling, "John Williams, you dummy!" <laughs> so so we're differentiating those guys. The next guy, uh, John Myers from Foster High School, is is six six. He's about two forty five right now. He's playing basketball. He played defensive end for them. We were projecting him as a tight end, tackle. Um, he's going to be a really big man. He he doesn't care where he plays. He's a quality student. He's a really good guy. He's he's a good athlete. We're going to line him up at tight end to begin with, and then kind of move him in at times to tackle and as he gets bigger, if he gets big enough, that he'll be a tackle. If not, he'll be a dominating, blocking tight end. He's a really good football player. Lamont Johnson kind of fell into our lap. This is one of those guys we we know people and all of a sudden he's he's dropped by SMU late, partly because they had eight receivers committed, but also partly he started his career at DeSoto High School and went to South Oak Cliff, and the DeSoto High School coach got hired at SMU, and he was still mad at him because he left DeSoto. Uh, but we jumped on the guy and got him, and, and he's really going to be a good receiver for us. He's an outstanding guy. He's a, he's a real quiet guy. Um, he liked us. We liked him. He got committed. We got lucky with him. And, and, but lucky is because we were diligent. We know people who called Coach DuBose and said, this guy is available, get on him. We did, and we got him. We're excited as heck. Juwan Giles from Shreveport. You know, the, the, the Louisiana schools come over here, so we should 
we're going to return the favor. We're going to get over there and recruit some guys too. Juwan Giles is a, an outstanding student. He's a really fine <laughs> football player. He's a great human being. Uh, he can run and pitch in. And uh, we felt like we needed two safeties coming into the season at least. And, and because we asked a lot of them, uh, they have to be cover guys and they also have to be guys who can run up and tackle you. And he can certainly do that. We went through about four kickers in the last week. You know, there's, there's kicking gurus all over the place. There's a guy in Dallas that uh, we were recruiting a guy, and he decided that he loved us. He committed to us, then he decided he wanted to go to Rice. And, and so we got on another kicker, and, and he liked us. And, and then we, we decided that Cody Seidel from Keller Fossil Ridge was better than all of them. We offered him, and he said yes. So we, we felt like we liked Ramon Cotto, but we felt like we needed a backup guy and a guy to compete with him. And if one of them is a better kicker and one of them is a better punter, we'll do that. Uh, but we also were in an issue if, if Ramon got hurt and missed a game or two, what were we going to do at kicker? Because we didn't really have one. So, so we, we felt like we needed to back it up with a, another guy, and, and, and this guy's really a good kicker. And he's also a football player. He caught 35 passes for him last year as a, as a receiver. So he's also a, a guy who can, who's an athlete, which a lot of kickers aren't necessarily. Uh, Kyle Brown was a midterm guy we got from Independence Junior College in Kansas. Uh, Coach Gamble liked him for several reasons. One, we were looking to try to increase our height. He's, a, he's tall, and like Coach Gamble, he was a high school quarterback and an inside linebacker, and Coach Gamble likes that now. Uh, if he's, We don't think he'll be as good a player as Coach Gamble was, but if he is, <laughs> if he is good for us, because Coach Gamble was all, you know, a great player at Texas A&M. Uh, but overall, we're really excited about this class. Everybody says it's a great recruiting year. Uh, it, it remains to be seen. These guys have to come in and play. Uh, we appreciate the help we got from the athletes on, on team because, you know, when we have the, the forum for the, for the parents and they come in here and they talk to the players and, and no coaches are allowed, it's just the players and the parents and the, and the recruits and they do, they, whatever they say, they do a great job because the parents and the players come out of there saying, man, you guys have great guys on your team, they're really for you, they're, they're, they're completely sold, so we're sold too. So we appreciate you guys for doing that because we tell them, Straight up, we're trying to recruit guys that are going to beat you out. And they say, bring it on. So, okay. I'll answer any questions. If you can ask any, any of our coaches who are here questions, the recruiting coordinators, Kyle, Kenneth, everybody else, and recruited guys. So, have at it. How different was it in terms of, you said, 